from Watergate to redacted documents. You wouldn't question my courage. Secret tapes to encrypted messages. If he's a prob or not. Nothing compares to Damo's deep investigation. I need to produce a little uh, exclusive here. Oh, yeah. Right, now, oh, here we what go. are we doing here, Damo? Here, here we go. We're going down a different path today, Jim. All right, come on. Okay, today we are bringing back to life something that our great friend Danny Frawley, the spud, used to do almost on a weekly basis, and that being the glass eye. <laughs> and for those who are either new to our program or, or forget, the glass eye con- connotation was uh, so-and-so could put a glass eye to sleep. Yeah, that's right. And we, can it, we it, hear it, it please? Have you got well, it? well, we haven't actually got it, so we'll have to use oh. sound effects. because no, We've got one on order because Spud had the last one with the glass eye. So it sort of sounds like this. It comes back to life yeah. when the glass eye actually <laughs> realises that, someone is talking very boringly, Bill. That yeah. magnificent... A butt idiot of a man yes. used to, with his glass eye in his hand, Bill, yes. lean down on the desk and bash it next <laughs> to his microphone. <laughs> like uh, the visual of it, I still haven't. Oh, the, the day that he went to the toy shop and bought a glass <laughs> eye was the highlight of that particular year for him. That's how childish it that was, man and the trumpet and, and the, the trumpet. trumpet. Yeah. trumpet. <laughs> so anyway, the glass eye, unfortunately for us at Triple M is actually a member of the Triple M family. Oh, no. oh, and no. oh, and, and, and he's more more almost my favourite person on oh, Triple no, M. No. It's oh. not yourself, is it? Oh, goodness. No, that, that could qualify. Yeah, yes. yeah. Oh, <laughs> no, someone that be. boring, you've yep. had to bring the glass eye out. Well, no, not one of the Triple it's, M boys. It's the two-time what? day, oh. two-time night oh, no. statistician. Oh, no. Ash, <laughs> two man oh, chewer. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. And oh, it he's asking for his volume to go up higher. I can't hear. It does hurt me to do this. It does, because yeah. I like you, Ash. The oh, others don't, but I Ash. do. Come I on. love it. does it. You, you made the mistake of going on a podcast oh, with the North no. Melbourne oh. Footy Club this week. Number one rookie error. North yeah. Talk is the is the program in, in question. And <laughs> North Talk, who does? Ash, who does someone does someone, someone was assigned the task of listening to the hour. Come that that person has been asleep for the three days since. <laughs> oh, Damo. Oh, 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 look at Damo. Oh, Damo. Getting his oh, eye, getting his glass eye. I've never seen this side of Damo before. Glass eye. I apologise to our listeners and to you in the room now as I throw to this, this this a small segment oh, of this hour long oh, conversation oh, oh, oh. I don't think you're going to get through the minute that we've managed to pick out oh, as a starting point on. here oh. Ash Chua on North Talk putting the glass light to sleep oh. the thing that I love about Reese Shaw when he sat in the chair from day one in the coaching in the, in the coaching chair he said I'm a defence first coach and if you look at you know, the past uh, 20 uh, premiership teams, they generally rank high in defence. Right. If you look at Reece Shaw, you know, in the 12 games that he coached us last season, you know, we're actually ranked seventh in defence, only conceding roughly you know, 75 points per game. If you look at the premiership teams from the past 20 years, they concede 78. So I say tick. I think with North Melbourne as well, you can see what Reece Shaw is trying to do. He's trying to implement a strong forward half game but with Reece Shaw uh, the 12 games that he coached last season will rank third for time in the forward half right they're the key indicators and it's only a small sample that uh, I love about what Reece Shaw is oh. trying to do Ash. oh jeez oh, wow. so oh. great stats that, that, by the way that was yeah. one minute of, of 68 <laughs> minutes <laughs> on this particular podcast small sample he's coached one <laughs> game as, as, you know, as you know when we're promoing these things <laughs> You pick out the best <laughs> yeah, highlight. The best. <laughs> that was it. Now, now unbeknownst oh. to us and our listeners, oh. Ash has got a different side to him too, Jim. Oh, oh. Now, as you're about to hear, oh. and the glass eye will be yes. stirring again in a moment, he once hosted a music show. Oh, oh. 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 no. <laughs> I also had, like, my own sports music show on a Saturday <laughs> afternoon. Oh. Oh. Sports uh, music. Summers, and that was great. Yeah, it was called <laughs> Chewer the Fat. <laughs> Chewer the Fat. And there are a couple of greatest hits cassette tapes going around. I know Christian Wallace has one of them. Wow. And it was really good fun. Wow. Wow. Two of the fat. fat. It gets better, BT. No, no, there's not more. (laughs) You've intimidated Ash every single day he's worked on this show. He he was so intimidated by you that he's still affected by the very first time he walked into the Triple M box. I did one game for Triple M in 2001. And I remember the, the, the calling team, it was BT, Steve Quarterbane, Sam Newman and Dermot Brereton. So as you can imagine, Ross, in terms of pressure, which you touched on at the start of this podcast, 
there was a lot of pressure. I remember the palms were very sweaty. And Lee Simon, the godfather of rock, and he was our national executive producer of footy back then. He was producing. So I got through the game. I didn't speak on the air. <laughs> I, and I remember, I saw, Jim. I remember <laughs> when I was introduced to BT Damo, BT... Look away, handball. <laughs> oh, 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 no. Now, you've, you've always had a soft spot, though, for, for one person in the box. And, and it yeah. goes back from when you were, uh, were a statistician for the, uh, the two-time premiership oh, winning club. And it, yeah. it is the great man himself. And you couldn't help yourself but uh, show your love for uh, one, of, one of the people in the box here. The King, Wayne Carey, uh, I'd say almost clearly uh, my, my favourite player of all time. I don't think I've actually asked for him for an autograph since I've been working with him at Triple M for the past eight years. Wow, get on top of that. Working at the club. Right. But, um, but I don't, yeah, I'd be too embarrassed. But like, what a legend, the duck. <laughs> oh, and I tried to get him on Chew of the Fat, believe it or not, Damon. I'm serious. For whatever reason, I couldn't get him on. <laughs> he, didn't want to he didn't know your name. <laughs> probably, uh, probably because uh, no one was uh, listening. Uh, How many people man? heard that podcast, by the way? Well, I hear, I hear it's right up there with the Howie games, in fact. Uh, the popularity, that's within the North Melbourne community, of well, course. I, 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 I too, man. Jim, for what yep. it's worth, I loved it. Thanks, Duck. Jim, you oh, tried to cancel Ash throughout his time at Triple M. Um, did, have you got some more advice for him? Never oh. appear on a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you're drawing breath, that's the one and only time you say yes, mate. You're, any, you're a stats man. So don't, you don't even do that well, but, <laughs> you know, Thanks, sort please. of stick to the stats. Uh, so, well, what we've got now is actually uh, someone's been listening to this interview and has dialed in one triple three five three style, wants a piece of ash. Hello, who have we got on the line? Who have we got? Hello, JB. Hey, Reese, he's your Reese. I might have to get an autograph. Uh, <laughs> now, Reese, did surely you didn't have to sit through an hour of that crap. Look, I, I thought Ash brought up some really good points about it, um, <laughs> North Melbourne and North coaching, to be honest, boys. <laughs> oh, oh, I, thought, I thought he was very insightful. <laughs> oh, but now no. you've got the great man on, Ash. You can ask him whatever question you want. Oh, this will be good. No, well, you uh, you will go down. In fact, you currently are the number one no, question, coach. Not a statement in yeah. VFL AFL history. <laughs> a question? Yeah. Oh, I'm not very good at asking questions, as Damon knows in the room. Now, now Reese, um, how are you? <laughs> how, how are you going? How, how Come, you on, mate. <laughs> Come on, Ash. Bloody hell. <laughs> I'm not very good with questions without that. Nah, I just say, I'll make a statement. I love your work, Reese. Yeah, it's only a small sample as I said on the podcast, but Jesus. Yeah, you're doing a great job. You've got the coach with. of the North <laughs> Melbourne Football Club on the line, and the only question right. you can think of Here we is go. how are you going? Reese, um, there's a fair chance that I may get the oh. bullet from Triple M. In fact, uh, <laughs> my contract is a game by game basis for the past 18 years. I was just wondering if I do get the. Ask. Oh. Are there any vacancies? Of, in fact, can I have my old job back at the North Melbourne Football Club? It sounds day to day to me, mate. To be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the positive reinforcement. <laughs> hey, uh, Reese, while we got you, how how's everything going? Tell me about Ben Brown for a start. Are we going to see him uh, on June the 11, 12, 13, 14, whenever it is? And what other things are concerning you as we get ready for this first game back? Yeah, no, Joe, it's um, yeah, it's really exciting that we're we're back in town and um. On Monday, uh, although it is in small groups, but um, yeah, it's really exciting that we're all back, and um, it, it has been a tough week for uh, the industry yep. in, in a lot of ways as well. And um, we can't forget about those people, and especially even the people in the community that are going through the same sort of thing. It, it's not nice, um, but it's it's it is the world we're living in at the moment, and it's um, a really tough one. But um, it's good to have footy back, and our boys are, are rearing a go. Benny's. Benny's looking forward to it. Um, yeah. He's been training really well and really hard and um, got himself in a good spot. So um, we're really looking forward to it. And it's only, obviously, it's only four weeks away um, now. And, um, yeah, we just got to prepare as best we possibly can. Uh, very well said about the community, Reese. Uh, what about the skipper? Jack Zebel uh, obviously was injured, certainly was going to miss a lot of footy. Uh, yep. will, will he play? Will he be ready for, uh, for this next game? Yes, yeah, Ducko. He's um he's trained really he's trained really hard in his rehab. Um, he's put it all together, and, and he'll be he'll be doing some kind of training on Monday. So um, he's he's rearing a gaze. He's uh, his knees pulled up really well. He's, he looks fit. Um, 
from what I can see on the on the computer screen. So hopefully that that works out in real life as well. But um, no, he's good. Bruce, what do you do with real boring guys at North Melbourne? Do you allow them to talk in the meetings, or you just <laughs> put them in the corner and tell them to tea towel themselves up, up over there? What do you do? <laughs> yeah, you kind of skip over them a bit, BT. It's, uh, <laughs> really dull. <laughs> it's really dull. Who's the, who's the most boring contributor at North Melbourne? There's always one that you, he wants to talk. Other and, than Ash. Yeah, there's always one. <laughs> who, who at North Melbourne is the most boring? To, to be honest, BT, we don't we don't have any. We're, we're a really good group. <laughs> That's it. That's it, Reece. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Hey, Reece, you're talking about the, uh, the injury concerns that had been in place uh, around Jack Zebel. Have yep. you still got that cloud over your head, given that you uh, courageously decided to go down the uh, the path that the players were doing in the hibernation stage of this uh, season and, and stuck to their program and, and pulled the hamstring? Yes. Yeah, it was uh, pretty disappointing. I, um, I, I got myself into some pretty good nick and... Um, it just when it got to that real high intensity stuff a couple of weeks ago that we were trying to prepare, it really got me. Um, the gun was the gun was uh, shot and it got me right in the back of the leg. Hey, Reese, we had your brother on when Bill about two weeks ago, yep. and he wanted to talk about a lot of things, including going to the races with you. Yeah, where yeah. you mounted a statue horse. Yes. <laughs> You, you need to tell him now that you're a senior coach. You can't go with that stuff. Exactly. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you brought that back up again, JP. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I hopefully preface it with it was uh, um, after my last season. Um, it was yeah. a bit of celebrations and uh, with, with some good mates. And, um, yeah, just wanted to uh, ride the wave of excitement of the, of the races. Perfect. Good on you, mate. What does Reese Shaw watch? Uh, in ISO, sure. yeah. Um, what do I watch? Well, to, to be honest, uh, Bill, me and uh, the, the missus have been, we went back over Game of Thrones. She didn't actually watch a lot of it, so we've, Ooh, we've worked good our early way through too. that again. Yeah, yeah. Good early, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it's been, um, that's been an experience again. Uh, but we've been, to, to be honest, it's been pretty tough. We, we've been working our way through um, the footy stuff and yeah. haven't really had much time. I just, yeah. Lounge about, to be honest, mate. And they've got two kids under five, so. Ooh, can't wait to help. get the training. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I can't wait, mate, to be honest. <laughs> hey, good on you, mate. We love you jumping in. Uh, good luck and uh, go Kangas. No, no worries. Thanks, guys. Really good appreciate on, it. Sorry, Stick sorry. to it, Chew. Thanks. Uh, check your inbox. Uh, Reese, my resume will be coming your way very shortly. Even when you say that, you sound boring. <laughs> I'm a statistician, PT. I'm speaking numbers. Oh, well done, Ash. And we stick you. to it. He, he gets the coach on, yeah. and what? the only question he can think of to ask is, <laughs> how, how are you? How are you going? <laughs> I can't ask questions on the spot. <laughs> we could have got... We, we we need to be we prepared. Snot. Penelbrill. Scons. 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 Oh, Scons. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Uh, one triple three five three fat quiz oh. time. Oh, yes. I like the two, man. Thanks. Here we well, go. Done, Thank you. One triple three five three. It's quiz time. Leroy is down there ready to take your calls. We'll have the rules for you next. And then Fat will take it away for Hard Yakka. This is the Triple M Saturday Rub. And for McDonald's, Triple M Rock Football.